Hello everyone, welcome back to another Imperfect Chess video. My name is Sean. Today we're going to look at opening keys. Keys in general, I suppose. Focusing on opening keys and how they can help you work on your opening repertoire and uh, make things easier and faster for you. Take a look, I've got open in front of me now, Mega Database 2014. That came right from the chess base folks themselves. And if I double click and open up that database, I am going to have uh, a bunch of games, which looks pretty cool and everyone's used to that, right? And of course, you can also have a tab and you can see the players involved and the tournaments and it goes on and on and on and on. What's interesting are these last five tabs are using configurable keys and the openings tab has an opening key. In this case, Chessbase is using their own custom key which they call super key, but it's a breakdown using the ECO codes and you can see that, oh, uh, here in uh, 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 this opening, the A15, A19, uh, where it's C4, Knight F6, there's 47,000 games there. And if you break down and say, okay, after um, uh, Knight F6, second move for White, E3, 84 games. And there's the 84 games. When you hit the bottom level of the key, the preview comes down here. That's how the opening key works. And the idea is that the games are already pre-sorted in a way, or at least indexed, to those openings. So you don't actually have to search or run collect opening reports or anything along those lines. You can jump in and take a look and, and, and see the games from the point of view of these keys right away. Now Chessbase comes also with these other uh, keys built customized for themes, tactics, strategy, and end games, which a little bit arbitrary in those names. Really there's two types of keys. There's the opening keys that look like this, and then there's the other keys, everything else. And so when I click on the other keys, you've got the keys on the left and the games found on the right. And here we have some quick wins until 20 moves and uh, there they all are there and you can see uh, names of, I suppose of the uh, when Max U is involved you can see these sort of indexed games so you don't have to go searching if you always want to know geez I want to I want to index any long games there it is 16,000 long games ready to go same things with tactics has a bunch of stuff to look for strategy has a bunch of key things to look for and end games broken down by common end game methods already ready to go when you buy a product from Chessbase. But what happens if you make your own database? We all need to make our own databases from time to time, especially if we're building our own uh, opening repertoire. I have here a uh, Nick collection. It's a collection of games that I downloaded from the New in Chess site based on uh, the, some of the, the yearbooks that I own and I wanted to have the games there. So I put them all in one handy dandy a database for me to work from. They're probably all copied in Mega Database somewhere, but I like working with smaller databases. And I was wondering, geez, I own all these New and Chess yearbooks. I wonder if uh, certain openings I'm studying, is there a write-up for them in these yearbooks? Rather than going through each yearbook and looking at the index in the front of the page, I have over a dozen of them. Wouldn't it be neat if I could just click a button and see which ones are there? Well, we've looked in the past, some of our previous videos, uh, how to run opening reports and things along those lines but this is a good time to start thinking about keys so I'm thinking I've seen what Mega Database can do I'm gonna open up my NIC database and jump to openings and boom nothing's there it's not a purchase database that came with this stuff all done in fact it's got none of the keys whatsoever same with themes tactics strategy and games none of them are there so well what we can do is Thankfully, the Chessbase folks have included within the program uh, some default keys that you can use for your openings. So they have a small key and they have a big key. So let's take a look at the small key for a second. Bang, and we open it up, and here you have this pretty conventional type of key. You see the very common openings and how they're broken down. Not the key I like to use, frankly. I like to go by my ECO. I don't like to have it this way, but you know you can see that this works. There are 126 Scandinavian games in the collection I have, which is cool. I didn't know that. And uh, Russian game, 155 Petrov's games. So you know Petrov defense. That's uh, that's neat to know. But I don't really like that type of key. I want to be able, if I go into themes, see, I want that big key that has all the different entries. Even though there's going to be a bunch of zeros, I want more entries. I want the full 
encyclopedia of chess opening codes down there, not this little piddly stuff. But I've already installed my key. How do I take this out and install a new one? Man, this one killed me. I tried forever trying to figure that out. I found the answer, of course, from the chess base, chess base folks themselves. And um, the trick is, what you need to do is close the database, not just the way I did. It's still open. I've highlighted this Nick Collection database, so it has a preview down there. This database is still open. So I'm going to jump over here, maybe to this database, highlight that one for a second. Now if I mouse over this, um, I like this one. If I mouse over this one, it's not open. You can see I don't have uh, any games open. So this Nick Collection is actually closed. I'm not clicking on it yet. Uh, sorry, that's renaming. I didn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, that's highlighted. Come on over here. And what I need to know is I need to know where the NIC collection game is in my database. I happen to know where it is. And it is, uh, where is it? It's in my downloads and my NIC. So this is where it happens to be. Um, and if I open that up and come down, I will see chess base open key. Two files were created, C .cko, cpo. I need to delete these. And because it's not open, it's no problem deleting it right there. If this was open, if I had been highlighted over here, then I would have got an error message when I tried to do that. Let's open up this one more time and let's take a look at our openings and voila, look at that, voila. Uh, we have uh, an opportunity to once again install the keys. This time I want the big key. And here we are. We now have the chess space, big key, boom. And it's using the conventions I'm used to. A, B, C, Ds, and there's our various, uh, how they work. And over here on the right, you can see how many games fit in them. If you want to see on the opening keys, if you want to see the games listed on the bottom, you need to get to the bottom of the key. So there are um, 60 games here on the E4, E5, and then uh, next steps for, for in, the, in the C2 area. And you see nothing is lit up down there. I need to hit the little plus and go down and say, oh, okay, I see. I need the responses for... Uh, you know the D4 has well, there's no games there, but here on the C20, we can come down and there's one game at the A3 level, and so there it comes up. It's the lowest level of the key. There's no more pluses to hit, and there's the one game. And if I click on the game, you can see that the move that we've even uh, we're looking at doesn't even look right. E4, but the move we're looking at it doesn't look right at all. Double click on that. Isn't that interesting? E3. Oh, of course, because A3 was the uh, it's transposed from it's transposed from E4 to A3. Look at that. I'm learning as I go. So in fact, the moves don't exactly follow the uh, the exact moves. You're not the index is not looking for exact moves. It's looking for positions. And so in this case, it's E4, E5, A3. Uh, although it's under the uh, it, it actually went A3, E5, E4. Who starts a game with A3? Isn't that fascinating? So, uh, juniors, I suppose, that uh, that's how the index works. And you get down to the lowest level and be able to see the actual games. These index indices over here, themes, tactics, strategy, and end games, they use a whole different method of doing things. And they're very, very powerful for finding your own, um, anything that you want to search for, anything that you would search for a lot you'll be able to index these games and see them right away. Now, we're not going to build our own index today, but I would like to build my own key uh, to search for certain themes within the opening games that, that I'm looking for. If I'm studying a certain opening and I see a certain theme, I would like to see if that theme, maybe it's pawn position or maybe it's uh, queen moving to the A file. I want to see if those themes show up in other openings. And I won't see that just by going through ECO, but I would like to be able to build those types of things and find other games that way. And we'll look at that another time. Anyway, let's test this thing out here. Uh, we've got 8766 games in the Nick collection. And I've got a game over here, one game in uh, a C41 game, which I think is uh, Philidor, I think is what I was playing with. Yeah, Philidor Defense. Is that right? And um, I want to see if this, if I move this game into into the Nick collection, will it be automatically indexed already? So I don't have to do anything else because we've already built the key. So if I go to the Nick collection and I look for openings and I look for C41, 27 games in my Nick collection on C41. All right, cool. So let's try this out. 
We're going to take this game here, Loudson Rackle, I think, uh, 8766. We're going to drop it in and say yes. And it's now 8767. I have my extra game in there. Let's open this baby up. Let's go into openings and let's take a look and see if C41 has another game in it. There's C41, 28 games. It's already there. No need to continually search. Once the index is built, once that key is built, any games I dump into this database will automatically be uh, indexed according to these openings from now forever. So think of how powerful that is as you start to get more games that are played, tournaments are played, and you want to know if an opening you're studying has been played, you can take those games and either dump them into a database that already is indexed and it'll be taken care of once the game has moved over, or you can just build a new database and build a new key right there and it'll be take care of that for you. How powerful is that? It's very cool and it'll get even more cool and more powerful when we start to build our own keys looking for patterns as I was saying before. There we go. Thank you so much for listening. I do hope you subscribe because we've got more videos coming and I'd hate for you to miss one. And also, want to let you know, are you a club player or a beginning player that's trying to build your own repertoire? I've started building repertoires for club players. I'm building um, uh, an incomplete repertoire and publishing them on my own. And book one is done, The Imperfect Chess Playbook, Volume 1 for Beginner Players. Check it out here at imperfectchess.com. You might find it interesting. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day, evening, wherever you are. Cheers.